What's up, YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to Channel Well Done Tanks. We are down in the kitchen today because what we need is actually in my freezer. So when I first started the aquarium hobby, really keeping fish tanks, really getting into the YouTube rabbit hole, uh, figuring out what I wanted to do with my tanks, you know, what to feed the fish. One of the things that kept coming up in videos I was watching was to use frozen foods. People kept referencing frozen foods are the best. Frozen foods can condition your fish to breed. You know, I like to feed frozen foods for this. Like I like to feed this particular fish, this frozen food. <coughs> now my only complaint of that was I kept hearing all of that, but I never truly had the source of information that I wanted to tell me what was this frozen food. We often, if we've been in the any kind of hobby for a while, we pick up lingo, right? We tend to say things and assume that people know what we're talking about when we say that. Well, for me, that was frozen foods. I got so frustrated that it took me months to kind of piece together what they were talking about with frozen foods. So my goal in today's video is I want to make a beginner's guide to frozen food, go over my top three frozen foods that I think everybody has access to, which is gonna give you the most rounded diet to your fish, and really any fish will take without any issues. And I wanna get into how I, I feed it, my decisions of why I feed, when to feed, you know, just my process in it, and you can adapt it to fit your needs better. And down the road, we can use frozen foods in other videos to talk about as well. But getting started there, like I said, Frozen foods, right? It's super simple. Most places you're gonna find them, I check your local fish stores, check your Petco's, check your Pet Smarts. Most of them will have what we're going to talk about today, at least two out of the three. You can order frozen foods online, gets a little more expensive, or a lot more expensive typically because you have to ship it with like dry ice in the package. But enough of that, let's get into my three favorite frozen foods. All right guys, so let's break it down even further, right? When we talk about frozen food, we're literally talking about food that is frozen. But what is better about frozen food is it typically, not to be cruel, was a live creature of some sort that was flash frozen so it retains all of the nutrients, if not most of the nutrients, that you would get from feeding that live food. So the first one we're gonna start with is baby, well, excuse me, we're gonna start with brine shrimp, just regular brine shrimp. This is a saltwater shrimp that it's actually, so it's not gonna carry any kind of diseases or anything of that to your fish, but with it being frozen, you take all of that out of the, out of the question, even the, the equation. <clears throat> so brine shrimp is probably the most universally fed frozen food to any, in any fish keeper's arsenal, right? Hobby is that. Most of us will know what we're talking about, brine shrimp, like frozen brine shrimp. But for me, when I first started, I was so frustrated that everybody kept saying frozen brine shrimp. Okay, now I can kind of figure out what that is. It is literally brine shrimp that was hatched, raised to adults, about there, flash frozen. And then what's nice about it is they typically will pre-portion it into these little cubes. Now you can buy it in like a full sheet where you can break off chunks. But as a, again, this is a beginner. I recommend if you can, find the cubed of this. Now, this is such a, an easy thing to feed your fish. Most fish will take it. Plecos, tetras, big fish, little fish. Uh, some puffers will even eat it. But this is like, if you have a community tank, which most people start with, brine shrimp is an excellent food source to offer your fish. Now next to that, my second favorite one, and I would say this is gonna be for people that may have smaller fish or even looking to breed some fish, is going to be frozen baby brine shrimp. Now you're gonna often hear, and I've done videos on this, of hatching live brine shrimp. It's one of the best foods you can feed your fish, right? Especially if you're trying to breed them. But not everybody wants to go through the process of actually hatching ba live baby brine shrimp. So if you can find it, the baby brine shrimp is literally just that. It is frozen baby brine. Now compared to the adult brine, it is much smaller. So a cube of this, this is like, this will feed an entire tank of my Japanese rice fish. Um, I feed this 
into some of like my, my, my betta fish goes nuts for this. I have a live bear that really likes this. So frozen baby brine is a really tiny food that even the smaller fish are gonna be able to take and most fry will actually take as well. Uh, the Japanese rice fish a couple days after they hatch will take baby brine without no problem. This one I was really only able to find at my local fish store. Uh, I did have not check Petco and PetSmart in a while, but I definitely know you can find regular brine shrimp there. So for number two, frozen baby brine. All right, and my third recommended frozen food is going to be bloodworms. And as you can tell, I've been uh, utilizing this package quite a bit here. Bloodworms drive your fish crazy. I don't know what it is about it, but fish go nuts for this. Bloodworms, I do know for a fact you can find at Petco, PetSmart. I personally have bought it there. And don't get so into uh, branding and that kind of thing. Now, bloodworms, you do have to be careful with. I would only feed this as like, we're gonna call it a treat, right? Maybe once a week, twice a week. Um, you can actually bloat some fish with this, but it's still one of the best frozen foods. That's why it's in my top three, is because it can actually get finicky eaters, picky fish to eat. When I first brought in my yellow zebra plecos, it took me a couple days to get them to eat properly, but the frozen bloodworms is what they went after first. So you, what you can actually do is trick your fish into think they're eating them, but actually eating something else. So what I started doing was I mixed brine shrimp and frozen bloodworms together. That way the brine shrimp had the same scent as the bloodworms and then it got the plecos to you know, routinely, routinely eat the brine shrimp. So now that we've gone over my top three, and like I say, you can find these in your local fish stores, you can find these in Petco's and PetSmart's. So again, it's the frozen food. Frozen brine shrimp, frozen baby brine shrimp, and frozen bloodworms. Very simple, it's easy to start there, but now let's actually get into how we can feed these and we'll get into show you my method of it. So the beginning, so towards the beginning of this video, I talked about finding uh, the pre-cubed food if you can, because one way you can actually feed this is hover over your tank, pop a cube out, throw it in the tank, and as it's going to melt in the aquarium, you know, it's gonna spread that food out over it. Probably the easiest way to feed tanks that way is just to pop cubes out. But now I wanna to talk to you about and show you my preferred way. And I do this because I have about 15 aquariums right now that I have to feed this to. And I feed this probably two to three times a week. Um, you know, fish I'm really conditioning to spawn. So I need to get that female fat, healthy, frozen foods can really do that. Can pack a lot of weight onto a fish fairly quickly. So because I have so many tanks to feed, I like to use plastic cups. Now what I'll do is I'll pre-thaw this before I actually go feed the tanks, and I'll use like a turkey baster or even a little pipette to feed, but first off, let's start here. So let me get you in a better camera angle and I'll show you how I portion this out to get ready to feed. All right, hopefully that's a decent enough camera angle. Uh, try to keep this in focus here. So like I said, we're gonna be using plastic cups. Um, I, I just have these on hand. I mean, you can use glass bowls, you could use really anything you want to. Uh, if you do have a significant other though, make sure you're not gonna make them mad by using their nice china dishware, something to thaw out frozen foods. So I'm gonna just use two, and I'll talk about that here of why. So first off, we're actually gonna start with the, uh, the, baby, the baby brine shrimp, so the frozen baby brine shrimp. Now this is, I'm gonna feed this to, again, it's the pre-packaged kind. I really like this pre-packaged, pre-cubed, I should say. So I'm gonna be feeding this to primarily the uh, Japanese rice fish. I will put some into my fry tank and my light, let's see, Japanese rice fish, fry tank, and my live bears, oh, and my betta fish. So I have a few right now that I'm gonna feed this smaller to. So I'm probably gonna pop out four to five cubes. Now, you'll kind of learn is, and that's why I say that one of the easiest ways to feed this is just to go pop a cube out and put it straight into the aquarium. And then one big thing people are gonna ask is like, how much, how much should I feed to my fish? So you kind of learn, right? Maybe you put one cube into your tank and it disappears really quickly. So then you try two cubes and you notice that it takes a little longer for the fish to eat. So you kind of figure out 
and how much you want to feed. Um, I'm going to feed rather heavy to my Japanese rice fish because I'm really trying to get some breathing action out of them and to the live bears. I've had those live bears for a few months and haven't seen any breeding yet. So I'm really going to hit them hard with some baby brine. Uh, and then the second cup, we're going to pop in some uh, regular frozen brine shrimp. And now this is going to go to the rest of the tanks. Um, so this would be like the Plecos, my 55 gallon. So I have a lot more fish I'll feed with this. So I'm going to pop in a healthy amount of cubes here. And I may even throw some of this into uh, some of my other tanks. We will see. And then I'm actually choosing, so once I got these in the cup, I'm actually going to mix a couple cubes of the blood worms in this same cup as the brine shrimp. Um, if you wanted to, you could thaw these completely separate, but I like to, because I'm still working on getting some fish to eat properly, I may throw in three cubes of blood worms in this right now, just to kind of add, but well, we're gonna do four. It's, um, it's thawing out rather quickly. Oh yeah, a big thing with frozen foods too. Do not, try not to leave this out on your counter for long because if it thaws out in room temperature, it actually will spoil. So if you forget about this, leave it on the counter, let's say overnight, which I've done, it really stinks. Do not refreeze it and feed it to your fish. You'll be feeding them rotten food. So now that we got it pre-portioned in these cups, I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of tap water uh, to each cup just so I can pre-thaw these out. Now some people are gonna freak out and say, you can't add tap water to this. It's not gonna harm your fish. It's not gonna harm any aquarium. I mean, it is such a small amount. So you guys, that's it. Like, I just put a little bit of water in each one. Uh, because I have more cubes of the blood worms and the brine shrimp, I definitely put more water into it. But then the brine, the baby brine, this, this thaws out so fast. But what this is gonna do as well, is when we, I'll show you when we actually start feeding this, is thawing it actually allows me to feed it a little easier. So we're gonna give this a few minutes to thaw out and we'll take these up to the tanks and I'll actually show you what I, how I feed them. All right, so now that we actually have uh, the frozen food the thawed, we put it into those two cups, we're gonna take it up to the fish room and here's how I like to do it personally. And this is why I like to put it in these cups, but again, probably the easiest way to feed frozen food is just to pop out a cube and put it into your aquarium. Your fish will pick at it, it'll fall apart, it'll feed your fish, it's no real problem. But because I have so many tanks to feed, that's why I like to do this pre-thaw method into a cup, is I will then take a small pipette. And if I'm gonna use a pipette to feed the brine shrimp and the, and the blood worm concoction a little easier, I like to snip off the very end of it so it's a little wider opening. And this is gonna allow me to really control how much food I put into what aquarium. You can also use something like a turkey baster. It's gonna do the same thing. It's just a little larger opening, longer tube, bigger tube. So that's why I like the pipette much more, is it really allows me to control how much food I'm putting into each tank. <coughs> then from there, I just take it around the fish room and I just feed, just feed each tank what I think they should get. And once I'm done, I will rinse the cups and I'll actually reuse the cups. So it's a very simple process. Um, that's really all there is to it is just, I just feed the tanks. I mean, that's, and that's it. Just let the fish go at it and you can enjoy sit back, relax and watch them feed. So really guys, this is my entire goal with this is to make this a truly beginner's guide to frozen foods. Is it something that I didn't think I really had when I first started this, was looking for this video. So I hope people come across this. I really hope this helps people. Let me answer some questions. Um, there's so many other types of frozen foods we didn't even get into. So this is that beginner phase, my top three, the frozen brine shrimp, the frozen baby brine shrimp, and the frozen blood worms. So guys, on your way out, feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, but leave me a comment. Please leave me a comment. Do you feed your fish frozen foods? What's your favorite frozen food? How do you prefer to feed your frozen food, right? There's all these different things that I like to read about, hear about. So guys, again, thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you on the next one.